Let's promote Windows Server 2022 to be a domain controller. As you can see in the right hand corner, it is Windows Server 2022. I'm going to go to Server Manager and go to Add Roles and Features and click Next. By default it's just going to be a standalone server unless you do this installation to become a domain controller or you can join this to another domain that's already been created. In our case it's just a standalone server so I'm going to choose the role-based or feature-based installation and continue. Now here we have the name of the server and you've got the IP address. So something to keep in mind is if you don't like the name of the server you're not going to be able to change it after it becomes a domain controller. So you're going to want to change it now as well as make sure you have a static IP address on your IP addresses. And now I'm going to go to where it says rename this PC and we can see it's got this crazy long name that's there by default. I'm just going to call it server but you can call it anything you want and then it requires a restart. Now let's go back into Server Manager and we'll go back to Add Roles and Features and we'll get this domain controller installed. And now it shows the correct name as well as the IP address. And I'm going to install Active Directory Domain Services. Choose to add the features when prompted. And you can skip the features there and continue on and choose install. Now just installing these particular tools doesn't make it a domain controller. We still have to promote it after the tools are installed. And our role has been installed. I'll click close and now we have to promote it. So I'm going to click on this little triangle here and choose promote this server to be a domain controller. Also think very carefully about what you're going to call your domain. You can rename your domain unlike the name of the server itself after it becomes promoted, but it's a lot easier if you don't have to because you could cause some issues if you have lots of different domain controllers that don't replicate properly. I'm going to call it .internal. Now we used to use .local a lot, but that's now being routed on the internet just like .com and .edu and all those other ones. So you don't want to use that anymore. Under Forest Functional Level, they never did go above 2016, so we'll just go ahead and leave it at that. And as far as the uh, domain controller capabilities, we're going to leave DNS and Global Catalog. Uh, there's no reason to do a, an RODC at this time because you have to have a writable one before you can do a readable one, or I should say read only. And now I'm going to put in my directory services restore mode just in case I have to boot outside of Active Directory in case there's a problem. After that, we see the delegation uh, warning. That is a standard warning. You never have to worry about that. And now we see the NetBIOS name is going to pop up automatically. It doesn't have to be the same name as the fully qualified domain name as far as the beginning word goes. You see my domain pop up there. You don't need the dot internal in this particular case for NetBIOS. This throws us all the way back to Windows NT 4 and 3, and they just never really got rid of it. So it's just a part of that whole thing. And it's also part of your login information as well. So I'll click Next. I'm going to choose the default locations. And I'll choose Next once again if everything looks right. Now you should see some warnings here, but you shouldn't see any errors. So if you see yellow triangles, that kind of thing, those are all fine. Uh, but if you see anything red, then you've got a problem. You've got to go back and fix it. So in my case, uh, just a couple of warnings here. That's fine. And I'll click Install. And that'll take a few minutes, and it'll reboot after that. And then we're going to log in as the new domain administrator. Our domain promotion was successful, and now it's restarted. When I go to log back in, and this is going to be through Hyper-V, so it looks like that, but if you have a physical server, you'll see a login screen. Make sure you put in the name of the domain, backslash administrator, the first time you log in. And now we're logged in for the first time. And I'm going to go to Tools, and we should see the Active Directory tools pop up here. And there they are. And we'll just confirm Active Directory is working by opening up Active Directory Users and Computers. And there we go. My domain.internal is up and running. So that's how we create a new Forest and Domain in Windows Server 2022.